Hello everyone, it's me again. I know I just posted a video like a few days ago, maybe even a week when this is posted. I don't know when I'm gonna post this. Today, we're gonna be doing a part two to an older video that I made a few months ago called Redesigning Old OCs. In that video, I redesigned some old characters that I really cared about and ones that already had pre-existing stories for me to base new ones off of and designs that were still fairly decent that I could build another design off of them. So I thought to switch it up a little bit today, I have chosen four characters that only have very, very loose personalities or none at all. One of them doesn't even have a real name and was just a character in an illustration that I made once. So I thought that it would be a challenge today to redesign a few characters and build them from the ground up and see what I can do with these loose ideas that they all were originally. Throughout this video, it's gonna look more like I'm making new characters than I am redesigning old ones. That's how little I had to work with with all of them. I tried to keep to their general theme, but some of these characters just look like entirely different people and have entirely different stories. Things that are just so, so different that you might not even be able to tell that they were based off the original character at all. So with everything out of the way, we can finally get in to our first character. This is Lucy. Lucy was the first time I ever drew a green type of fantasy character. She was supposed to be an orc and goblin. In the picture it says Orklin. So I'm guessing she was supposed to be a mix of these two things, which I'm not too sure how that would work. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. As of now though, I am a big fan of goblins. I draw goblins so much. So I thought today, let's just make her an entire goblin, purebred, and it's gonna work great. Let's get into her speed paint now. So, like I stated previously, the main change that I was making was turning her into a purebred goblin and not some goblin orc sort of thing. I thought that it would be a lot easier and a lot funner for me personally since I do love drawing goblins so much. And as I instantly started drawing her, it was like love at first sight. I just, I just didn't miss a beat with her at all at all. She was seeming kind of plain too, so Charlie, my 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 bestie, my my pookie bear, said that I should I, I could give her like a, a little goat and make her like a little wandering trader, and I thought that was so cute. So, this is Oat, Oat the goat, O T E. I've noticed that I've been really forcing myself into drawing animals recently, and I don't know if I like it or not. I don't love drawing animals but I've been drawing tons of like horses recently and it's so difficult, but it's exposure therapy. I think I'm getting better at it and that's all I care about. I should probably tell you about the world that she's getting placed in. Now, Lucy is gonna be from uh, me and my friend Charlie's fictional world, a Thrindane, which is a very high fantasy, luscious, colorful setting. And it's a lot of work. It's still being developed currently, but I, that's where I'm putting Lucy, and that's where we're actually going to be putting all of the characters in this video. Lucy is just going to be a wandering trader. She just travels around and sells stuff off of the back of, of Oat the Goat, and she probably, I didn't draw it, but she probably has a big backpack that almost leans her backwards whenever she puts it on. That's filled with stuff that she can sell and trade and everything. I was also playing around with the idea that maybe she has a few little baby goblins with her that ride on Oat the Goat and have like little powers pouches to sit in, so maybe I'll mess around with that more in the future. Just imagine how cute that would be. Just a few little babies and then like little baby pouch. Oh my goodness, it'd be so cute. I had so much trouble coloring Oat the goat. I just almost gave up on him because there was just so much to do and I was an idiot and did it all on the same layer and forgot that reference on Procreate existed and I kept messing up and... <sighs> I think he came out fine. I'm thankful that he came out okay and I'm happy with this. Overall, I think that Lucy came out really good for what I was going for. I really like the wandering trader aspect and I liked giving her big goblin ears and yellow eyes. And I don't think she looks much like her original, but like I said in the beginning of the video, it was more like less redesigning and more making new characters off of given ideas already. And for that, I think she came out pretty well.
Next up is gonna be this character from an illustration that I did in 2016. This is the one that doesn't have a name, and this is what I meant by blank slate. I have so much to work with. I don't remember anything about this character. I don't know if they had a personality. I don't even know if they were a character. All I knew is that I thought that I could put them into my world pretty easily. So that's what I did. First, I had to give her a name and I chose the name Mir, M-I-I-R. I had so much to work with here because I was essentially changing this entire character. I knew one thing though. I wanted to make her part of the coven. The coven or the order of the red sigil is a divine group of witches in a Thrindane all circled around their goddess, Ophelia. The coven works in an interesting way where all of these witches get their magic from Ophelia's life force herself. She is a part of every witch under her care, and for that reason, all witches, after living with her for a long period of time, will begin to somewhat resemble her in a way. So from horns to skin tone to hair, all sorts of things will start to resemble Miss Ophelia. And Mir is no different. She resembles Ophelia a lot, but not too much. I wanted to make her maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit more of a motherly figure to the Red Sigil. But besides that, I don't really have many other ideas for her personality. I know on top of her being motherly, I do want her to be dangerous. I want her to be a very powerful witch who can use her magic when she wants and get the job done. Maybe she kind of has like, you know the moon staff that Soraka uses in League of Legends? I was thinking of maybe giving her something like that. And now that I think about it, she looks somewhat similar to my Soraka headcanons. It's okay, I, I, that's for another time. I cannot start schizo rambling about Soraka right now. I can't do it. Mir is definitely someone that I'm gonna have to come back to in the future and give more story because I really, really love how I designed her. And I think she's got so much I could do with her. But right now with the level of information I have on the Red Sigil, I'm gonna need to build it up some more before I fully know her purpose and know what she does. But until then, I think that she's really cute. I really do. She does not look anything like her original, but I'm not exactly complaining about it. I think she looks 10 times better now. You'll see it in a second, but during this drawing, I completely forgot to clipping mask a few of the layers. So when I think I'm done with everything, there is just color clipping out of all of the line art. But I'm just a girl. Accidents happen. We're gonna have a lot of fun with the next two characters because they are both connected to the same story, meaning I get to do a little bit more with them. They're also my favorites from the video, so I actually gave them some personality and some backstory and they seem like real characters compared to the other ones, okay? Okay, let's get into it. First up is gonna be this character named Raven Sparks. I believe I made her in 2018. I think, maybe 2017. One of those, it's one of those. I don't know much about her besides the fact that she was a pirate and she had this pretty, this pretty town dress whenever she went into town. So I thought, let's combine the pretty town dress and the pirate aspects and make an entire new character of the same name. And let me tell you, it's a cook. It's a cook, I cooked. I already knew pretty well in my brain what I wanted to do with her design. I wanted three aspects, pirate, pretty dress, and very bright colors. Because a Thrindane is so lush and vibrant and beautiful, that means that all of the materials that get used for dyes and decorations are going to mimic how lush the environment is. So I knew from the start that I needed to put her in a very colorful skirt that you probably wouldn't see in medieval times, but I never follow those rules. Like the other two, Raven just came to me 
She was the first one I did out of all three of them. And I had so, it was so easy to color her and to draw her. It was so easy. I don't have much else to say about her design, so I'm gonna get into her character. Raven is the captain of a very flamboyant pirate ship. I haven't actually thought about it way too much because these are all very underdeveloped characters that have a lot of time to grow. Majorly, I've been thinking about Miss Raven as a character and less of the, her surroundings and the people she's with. So I think that she's gonna be flamboyant, just like her ship, and she's very over the top. And on top of that, she is a good liar and she's slimy. She knows how to be a snake when she needs to. She's good with a sword and that's about it. That's all I've got for her. Overall, I think that she is very pretty. I don't think there's anything that I would have changed about her. I just really love her design. I love how she turned out. I love her colors. Just on the, on the top of my head, there's nothing that I could think about changing. Maybe I try to make her feather a little bit bigger in the future and really exaggerate it. But besides that, I think she's perfect. I love her. character for today is gonna be Kiso. Kiso was a old character from 2018 I believe who was this bird lady who lived with this fanatic prince sort of character and that was about it. She didn't really get that far in development so we have a good bit to work with and I'm excited. Like a few of the other characters we are gonna give her a name first. I have decided on Desi because I just think it's way prettier and I think it I think it fits very well. Desi is the daughter of a Thrindane's king, late king, who's the biggest piece in the Thrindane mystery. After the passing of his wife, the king goes around and because of the stuff that he gets up to, he has like a hundred children maybe more. They only really know a very small percentage of these kids are his. There's one telling factor though, it is that all of his children have something called the King's Mark, which is a small amount of discoloration on their face and a little bit of their body that all is the exact same as the King's. It's very similar to Vitiligo, so it gets mixed up a lot with all the people in a Thrindane that have vitiligo because it is not uncommon there. On to more of the story. After his passing, they have to decide which one of these kids is gonna be the heir, which is a little bit difficult because there is so many of them and they don't know just how many there are. Desi is one of the children that they know is his. She lives in the palace and they keep her kind of safe and locked away, thinking that she may have to be the heir if none of the other kids show up in time. And because of this, she is incredibly sheltered and doesn't get out much and doesn't really experience what it's like to be a young woman. She is a bird locked in a cage. She just wants to get out there and experience everything that she can. This all comes to a head when she encounters Captain Raven. I don't know the exact details of it yet, but somehow the two of them get mixed up together and end up going on these adventures together. And it gives Desi this reason to leave and experience life. I think Desi is probably really naive compared to Raven. She's naive and she's sweet and she doesn't know much about the world, which can be really cruel. So it leads to her being way more hopeful than the more hardened Raven would be. And I think that's really fun and I think it's a really nice dynamic. Back to her design, I think that it is gorgeous. She has to be my favorite out of all of them. I love her. 
I gave Desi hyperpigmentation of the eyes and mouth because genuinely I think that that is one of the most beautiful traits that someone can have. I also made her a dove. There's no reason for this. I just wanted to reference the fact that the original Kiso was a dove. So that's what we went with. Overall, I love how she came out. She's my favorite. You're gonna see a whole lot more Desi in the future. Like, I mean a whole lot of her. I'm so ready to make content with her. I'm, uh, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. I also realized that her and Hala from the last redesign in Old OCs are the last ones in the video and both end up being my favorite. So maybe there's a little correlation in that, I don't know. That's just about everything for today. I had a lot of fun with these characters and I think they all turned out really, really well. I'm happier with them than the last redesigns and maybe it's because I was in my element. I do a lot better when it's fantasy design. I don't know, that's just how I am. Desi was definitely my favorite out of all of them and is totally gonna be the one that gets more content than everyone else, but hopefully, Within a few months, I'll have little stories for everyone. You can never have too many OCs, okay? Okay? That about wraps everything up for today. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and I hope that I can get another one out to you soon, but I might lose that motivation, and it might be about a month. I don't know. If you want to support me, please go check out my Etsy, link in the description, or if you don't have the money to order keychains on Etsy, just subscribe, like the video, if you enjoyed it. Thank you. In case I don't see any of you anymore, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.